I will take that over you burping again. You don't like burp? Right. So around like 3.5 seconds for me, so I'll put a note on there. I'm at... I'm going to start recording the video in 3, 2, 1... Oh, I missed. Three, two, one. I missed. I missed. Uh, yeah, I hit the button so hard that the mouse moved. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. It's, like right, that let's... Epi- it's like that episode of Futurama when they, um, he, uh, they're they doing the countdown to shoot the garbage ball into space. And he's like, Professor Farnsworth is like, five, four, three, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and, the, <laughs> and, that, and then um, Leela's like, just fire the damn thing. And then Fry goes to push the button and he misses the button. He's like, oops. And then he hits it. <laughs> okay, so this is where we left off. That's Welcome now, back. This, this is the famous blue emerald, if you recall. We were discussing Mikey, this in the last episode. Mikey, uh, just, 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 so, just so we know, so we can date this, I need you to put a Garfield to let us know it's a Monday. <laughs> Mikey, edit in a vagina. <laughs> I was surprised like we got no comments reacting to that I was shocked that was the funniest shit I could have imagined (laughs) that you made way funnier I didn't know what you were gonna do there but it was perfect Uh, yeah Michael make sure you add a mustache to the vagina (laughs) no Uh, Mikey edit in the clitoris from the South Park movie (laughs) Is that in the movie? I forget. Isn't it? Um, it's it might it's be a- during Operation Hide Behind the Darkness or whatever. Oh, yeah. That was one of the less memorable parts of the movie, I guess. Prisoner. What's going oh, on by here? the way, uh, for some reason, Amy sneaking into White Acropolis and... At least just fucking leaves? More like White Acropolis, am I right? So basically, yeah. right after... Sonic got sent to the future. Amy shows up. Elise just fucking walks out of her cell, and Amy just helps her leave. <laughs> huh. So she oh, just fucking gone. leaves. They're, they're just gone. So <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for rescuing me, she says. I'm Amy. So, Amy what did she do? Good thing we cut over all that, right? Elise. Yeah. So yes. it's like, it, which means that Sonic didn't even need to fucking go to White Acropolis because she was just going to leave anyway. Whoa, you're twelve foot six. Wait, you're not Elise. By the way, these two characters are, are romantic you? rivals for Sonic's affection. Way to rescue you. <laughs> uh, yes. Don't you just love that? Someone I know said to me, "Nothing starts until you." I I, I did mention that she's so voiced by the original Meg Griffin, right? Look look how doofy her teeth are. Yeah, you did yeah. mention that. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna finish that thought I had in my head, but yeah, let's continue. <laughs> Now Amy's like, oh, I'm going to help you win over this guy of your dreams. Being in love is great, because Amy doesn't know that Elise is in love with Sonic. Because why would she? That's weird. By the way, I want to call attention to that shot where she's like, love is wonderful, and then sparkles float around in front of her face, but her face is completely motionless. <laughs> Because they forgot to make her smile because all the animations in this game are kind of bland. Her face sparkled and she just was completely flat faced. Yeah, there were like, there were, she was like stone faced and then there was like sparkle particles in front of her face and she's like, yay. If this was like Sonic Riders, she'd have like a big smile on her face or something. But because it's this game, she was like expressionless. Oh, yeah. Because that's, that's the thing about this game is that, um, Compared to some of the later games that lack budget, the animations are better in the sense that characters actually move around and the motion capture is decent. It's not like Sonic Adventure 2 where it's really stiff looking. Uh Well, actually, I think part of that's because of shit that didn't translate from the Dreamcast to the GameCube, but regardless. Oh, by the way, Amy's combat is terrible. Look at this. Yeah. Like every time you... I don't know, man. (laughs) Apparently she can't looks- swing sideways. She has to go do like an overhead thing. And whenever you <laughs> use your here. and whenever you use yeah, she has an invisibility move too. I forgot how you use it. I think you have to fill up your chaos gauge or something. Oh wait, no, it's the other way. Every time uh, I hear every time I hear the song, it reminds me of the Guts Man theme from the original Mega Man. 
Oh yeah, you're totally right. Yeah. Speaking of Morgan Man, um, Alonzo needs to play the X games on the show for us, including oh, yeah. X Seven and X Command Mission. Okay, so let's uh, like we can hold off an X Seven Command Mission. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, the Command Mission, but that's like an RPG and. <laughs> and you're also I mean, gonna have to play both extreme games, uh, we're, and, we're, and the okay, fucking we're remake it now. <laughs> oh, I played, I, Mega Man Extreme was the first Mega Man game I ever played. Interesting. I loved it. I could never beat it, but I loved that it's game. Just, it's just a rehash of a or a compilation. It with d a isn't story. X One where Zero originally met Iris or something? X Four. No, like, um, X Extreme 1 takes place before X4. I don't know, they combine X1 and 2 in that one, as far as I can tell. Except that means, that translates to three of the four robot mavericks are, um, from <laughs> X1. And one of them, one from X2 makes an appearance. Just Flame Stag. Like, great, that was fantastic translation right there, huh? I don't know, they combine X1 and 2 in that one, as far as I can tell. Except that mean that translates to three of the four robot mavericks are um, from X1, and one of them, one from X2, makes an appearance. Just flame stag it. I like how Michael's so petty that he'll actually look a fool in wrong and correct test and post. <laughs> Yes. All right, so now we're at Elise's castle. With the you where got the a castle? Where do you think she Actually, pushed? I think technically Kingdom Valley is their castle, but it's been destroyed. So this is like a smaller castle in town. Finally, I've been waiting. So She's so rich. She's got a castle for her castle. Princess. Next time, I'll remember to lock the door. Is that what Eggface just said? No, he's like, I've been waiting so long for you to return to me, princess. Well, it's me, well, it's... Hey, princess. It's testicles. Yeah. So, I by the way, pair, I did want to know. Jeans. I added a pair of jeans on her now. Okay. <laughs> Why does he want to destroy the world? Mikey edited oh God, an erect asshole. strap Why on onto Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> and then censor that Unless with a. Your task, your and then censor that with the um, Alonzo. <laughs> no, don't use ball. my face. With a fuzzball. You use Michael's He's baby face. At the <laughs> uh, <laughs> future, Mikey, future Mikey request, please stop listening to Ethan's request. <laughs> Just edit Mikey, out go Ethan back and re edit the, the entire playthrough to remove all of <laughs> Ethan's <laughs> great quests. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but funny story, I was recording on Versecast yesterday, and I was in the mis middle of listening to King K complain about Pikmin 2, and that's when I replied to you yesterday with the in the chat. And then I looked at that picture of me, the baby Michael, with printed right next to it, and I, like, laughed so hard. <laughs> and and then King, King had no idea why, and I was just like, it's nothing, please continue. And then I had to try to stifle my laughter every time I saw that picture again. Mikey edited a giant picture with the boom sound effect with your baby picture. Thank mm. you. Um, well, anyway, we're back at a new session. I was wondering if um, Alonso could speak off of his topic list. Oh shit, that's right, I had to update that. What do I got? So we talked about Scott Pilgrim, I remember you mentioned that, but nobody really watched it. I watched one episode, mm -hmm. but then I realized that's kind of a sequel to the yeah. other Scott Pilgrim stuff. Which yeah, I've that's had, I remember. Which I've, I was had, mention I've that. had most of the comics sitting. I have like four of the six volumes, but I've never actually read them. I've only ever played the game and watched the movie. So I'm like, well, if I want to watch a sequel series, I kind of want to read the comic. But, you know, since comic reading... Since book learning really ain't much for me, <laughs> I tend not to ever, you know, do that. And then the I'll last watch time the I read a fucking book was you did uh, the yes uh, the last time I read a fucking book was when we were still at. 
You mean? <laughs> you mean? But why did you let me pick it, game? Fuck off. Um. Okay. I I read a couple books a year, but you know. I started reading Jobless Reincarnation after the season ended. So I might as well read it. There's a lot of stuff that's, you know, that's gets what, left out because of timing Jabba's, and everything. Jabba's Reincarnation? Yeah, Musko Tensei. <laughs> I don't think well, you heard what I said. What? I said Jabba's Reincarnation, as in Jabba the Hut. Oh. Oh, well, now you gotta put in Jabba on the screen. I already did that last session when you said the name of that anime. <laughs> God damn it! That's right. Well, if my if Alonso can't think of anything, then I'll. Uh, oh, I still got a bunch. I'll, I'll I'll read a topic off of my topic list. My list, it's worthless. Hold up. No, I had um, this one. I remember this was a big note, and since we were just talking about Mega Man. Okay, so you you guys have heard of a Mega Man X uh, dive offline? No. Uh, yes, vaguely. What the fuck? Piece what of just shit. Happened? Worse. Uh, what did you do? Oh, works as the Shire sauce. Apparently, I was I was supposed to wait for the guards. They go on rounds, so I could sneak into the station. Because even though Silver can fucking fly, they insist on having a stealth mission. Look at this. Wait, why? Why does this make I, I, any sense at all? Oh my god! You should play Gravity Rush two if you can, and then play all the side missions in that game. Because they obviously made a bunch of side. Oh wow, that was it. <laughs> oh my god, this is, this is <laughs> almost as good as the stealth. This is almost as good as the stealth sections in Blinks Two: Warriors of Time or whatever the fuck that game's called. Okay. I want to. But mention, you would have to play Blinks. I want to finish this before we get sidetracked. But Gravity Rush Two. I mean, has anybody ever played any of the Gravity Rush games? Um, much like Uno, that is a game that nobody has ever played. Ex ex Uno. Yeah, it came with your Xbox. I, I mean, I'm aware of that. that what do you mean, mean Uno? What do you mean no one's ever played Uno? You have Uno. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nobody's I ever played Uno. That me and Mike are going off of this meme, and you have no idea what's going on. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Explain to me. Uh, okay. Oh God, it's an ancient like a uh, uh, video where it's like these two dudes arguing like hey let's play oh, some uno you, like and they have it the poor quality microphone or something yeah yes. no and it's like you have fucking uno okay that was worthless it just bounced off the floor okay. <laughs> Mike, I, I, ho I hope you noticed it at that time noticed what <laughs> that was an excellent fart sample just <laughs> then <laughs> okay i missed it That was a good one. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't you. Lots of point for the farts. Okay. Uh, uh, it's the one with the sniff editor, Mikey. <laughs> yeah. Because I have to manually insert all of the fucking soundboard sounds. Get the coin. <laughs> 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 Oh man, uh, everybody's played Uno. Well, everybody's played Super Mario. Uno, I used to play that a lot at, at work. Oh, we were on Gravity Rush though before we went onto that yes. dumb tangent. Sorry. <laughs> I, I still don't get it, but I think that's okay. I'm out of touch. Oh, here's a fucking surprise. I, I feel mechanically what I've played in your thing, it's a fun game. Gravity Rush is fantastic. It's kind of like nobody. Oh, ever, I thought you were yeah, still it, talking about Uno. Ooh, like the card game Uno, or is that what you're saying? Yes. I thought who has I, Alonso's like, yeah, mechanically, I thought it was a lot of fun. I'm no, like, I was talking Uno? about Gravity Rush. So, I was going to say, <laughs> who, who hasn't played Uno? <laughs> I hadn't played it until last year. Really? Wow. Yeah, Specifically I, I because I said that nobody had ever played it before. <laughs> That's the that was wow. the that's the meme is that we uh, on the on first cast we were recording Toy Story two and a, and Uno got brought up for some reason and I'm nobody, just like, has, anybody nobody ever the... act, has anybody ever actually played Uno I'm curious about this and yeah. then then the other guys were like what the fuck do you mean everybody's played Uno everyone has Uno dipshit it came free with your fucking Xbox yeah but it doesn't surprise me 
that you would have never played Uno. <laughs> Thanks for the vote but of For confidence. some reason, that does that seems like something you would do, or well, that he, would happen to you. I mean, he's never yeah. ridden a bike before either, so I'm like, it's not it's, outside it's kind the realm of like, possible. It's kind of like how nobody has ever been to Delaware. Huh. Huh. Not even the people that live there, huh? Nope. Yeah. Nobody has been to Delaware. It's one of those states that supposedly exists, but nobody's ever been there. <laughs> Just like, never mind. <laughs> uh, you were going to say the state of Seattle, weren't you? No, I was going to say something much worse. <laughs> oh, Just, no. Just like Pakistan. Okay, that's much safer than I, what I was thinking. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, I mean some, I mean some chow here. I'm, I'm wrapping up, but <laughs> no, Gra Grab Yours Two is a fantastic game, and it's, it's kind of a, it's a deep cut, if you will, because you know it's good, but nobody's ever played it. It's got all these yeah. side missions so that you can, you know, play more. They just tack more stuff onto it. Some of the side missions in that game are so fucking bad that I like had to look up clips of people to upload just like the 45 seconds it took to beat the side mission. <laughs> and the, all the comments would be like, oh my fucking god, this one was even worse than the last one. Because <laughs> mm. like, like you're Video trying games to do something are fun. It's like, if you're, it's like if you're trying to do a stealth mission with Sonic the Hedgehog who runs super fast. Well, if it was true to Sonic's nature, then they wouldn't be able to see him because he'd be moving so fast. It'd be like that scene from The Incredibles where Dash puts attack in the teacher's seat. Yeah. Or like that one clip from SpongeBob where he's like, want to see me touch that rock? <laughs> want to see me do it again? <laughs> That's the funniest joke of all time. How can we exemplify in the simplest of terms how quickly these these, these characters are. <laughs> <laughs> how quickly well, these how, characters how can, are. How can, we, how can we exemplify what their powers are, but also be stupid and funny at the same time? <laughs> you know what's a movie that actually depicts like that type of speed really well? Don't Mega Mind. The, oh, okay. Well, you were going to save the Remember Flash. Remember when a Markiplier superhero goes on his like, little... <laughs> 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 I don't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> but you knew immediately what I was talking about. <laughs> I've never watched a Mega Man. Oh, it is a fucking surprise. He goes on his vision quest, but he's like moving at such Mega a speed mind, that Mega like... Mind, Mega Mind, Wowie. Mega Mind, Mega Mind, Wowie. <laughs> Nothing. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> he just he's like goes apparently goes so fast that he's like he has a whole like life's uh, question or figuring out his life. In a matter of like seconds, but it's for him. It's like a like a couple hours. He uses a super speed to yeah. go on like a uh, introspective walk around town while Mega Mind is monologuing, um, and then fakes his own. Ah! Yeah, and so. he looks like Markiplier. Yes, that was that was why I laughed. Even. Who looks like Markiplier? Metro Man. Have you seen the Mega Brad Mind? Pitt Man. I just said no. Oh. Fun movie. I, I, I don't know. I don't really like his movies very much. I kind of outgrew them for the most part. Like, I haven't even watched all the Pixar movies. Mm hmm. Isn't it a DreamWorks movie? Yeah, it is. I know it's You're DreamWorks. Saying but he hasn't... Yeah. What? I knew it wasn't a Pixar movie. I'm just saying, like, Pixar is, like, what I would consider to be the best of the bunch of 3D movies. I haven't even watched yeah. all of them because, like, I don't care anymore so much. I, I mean, Puss in Boots bad. was great, and that was just amazing. Um, you're going to have to be it, more specific I, about which Puss in Boots film you're talking about, my friend. The thought, one you know I would be talking about. I thought the, Inside the, Out was outstanding. Mm -hmm. Everything about the, Inside the, Out was made for me. I haven't seen that one. Actually, I, hey, I haven't seen a bunch of Pixar stuff. I've just been seeing a lot of the... Inside Out is, uh, I'm like the perfect person for that movie because it caters to all of my interests. Mm. Remember Cause, when cause, they, Pixar made a movie starring a black protagonist for the first time and then they turned him into a ghost or something? 
that oh, was, yeah. That, that movie was Soul. I, wa- I just watched that for the first time like a month ago, and I thought it was really, really good. 